Shipeno Hangembaroro and her parents were over the moon when she received this special wheelchair and a portable toilet. Earlier this year, the couple visited the governor's office, pleading for assistance. The nine-year-old girl with cerebral palsy was becoming a challenge to carry around. But they had no choice because they couldn't afford a special wheelchair. In less than a month, the family's prayers were answered. It's a new beginning actually for her. Yes. And to us, the family, even it's, we are so pleased. But we don't have to carry. To carry, she's become now a bit heavy because she's growing up. And to carry her is a, is a problem. Timotius Nangombe is another local who received $51,000 worth of office furniture. Nangombe created Connect Africa, a mobile and web application assisting the hearing and visually impaired to communicate and access information, allowing them to be independent. The app was born out of frustration as Nangombe has a hearing impaired sister and most of the family's time was spent translating at home or at gatherings. For the visually impaired, the app scans and counts local bank notes, translates words from hard copy to speech, detects color and can be used to navigate. For the hearing impaired, Connect Africa translates speech to written words, convenient if there's no interpreter. When the project approached the governor's office for office supplies, the answer was a resounding yes. The visual and hearing impaired, they are very happy for these applications because it's like a dream comes true. Uh, some of them they will say it becomes our English teachers now because it will also have a component of translating uh, native language into English and vice versa. We want to include each and everybody, even those that are uh, the village, those that are not educated, because some, are, uh, some, are, some people are just at the village and they were discriminated not to be involved in school because they are visually impaired or hearing impaired. So their parents are just saying, or the communities, they are just saying, no, there's no time for you to go to school. What are you going to do there? There's no chance for you. But if this person start, start using this app, that person will be somebody one day in life. Other donations included building a house for a resident whose last residence was gutted by fire in 2014. The governor's office also donated school uniforms, including bags and blankets, to 300 vulnerable learners. Spa equipment was donated to two unemployed females, allowing them to start their beauty therapy business, while the Komasdal Youth Training Project received cleaning equipment to assist with cleaning initiatives. The sharing of social responsibility is inevitable road because we know how many of our helpless or stranded hands stretch out in the dark that needs our helping hands to bring them into the light for better opportunities to survive. There are a lot of cries for help out there in the community who are looking for our help for possible immediate remedies. The donated items worth was approximately $600,000.